Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show what the texture extraction subsystem can do on a simple texture extraction task. So our shot here is just walking down a street in an unopened shopping mall. So we're going to start out with a basic solve. And we'll do a little track or cleanup on it. And just quickly resolve. Now you notice we don't have a ground level that we want yet. So let's go take the entire scene. We'll just move it up a little. I'm just adjusting a couple of the trackers that are over here at the base of the wall to a reasonable level. So now we've got our coordinate system set up. So what we're going to do is create a card along this portion of the wall there and pull a texture off of it. So let's go over to the perspective window and we're going to select the add cards mode. And now I'm going to go and select a bunch of the trackers along that front part of the wall that I want to use. You notice I'm missing some of the other ones intentionally that are off in different places. Synthize can do that itself a bit as well. This makes the process particularly straight forward. And I'm holding down the Alt key to do that. And now we can just go and create a card there. I'm just going to rotate it a little bit to line up the bottom of it a little bit better. So there we've got our basic card set up. Now we're ready to go and begin setting up the texture extraction. So we'll set up the file for that. Maybe we'll set it to 512 by 512. I'm also just going to drop down the number of polygons in that wall doesn't really serve any useful purpose here. So now we're ready to go and do the texture extraction. So it's going through the entire shop at, shot and looking at all those images to produce a low noise texture. So let's go take a look at that. And here we go. You can see we've got a nice crisp texture here for that front wall that we use to place the card. The part in the back not so crisp because it's actually a little bit further back. And we can go and just play around with our scene for a second to show that. We zoom in here, the trackers that are a little further back on the text. So I can just go and slide the whole thing back along its normal a little bit. And now we'll rerun the texture extraction. In a live application, I might go and get use both cards so that I'd have both the one for the front wall that's crisp and one for the back as well, and then just mask out the, the part that's in this opening in the front one. And you know you can see now we have this nice crisp texture for the back wall as well. Now one thing that we're not getting quite right yet is you'll see that there's a bunch of funny stuff up at the top here and that is due to the pole that's right here. There's a pole with a flag on it that's going and wiping right in front of our sign and the wall. So that's kind of annoying. So let's get rid of that. So I'm going to go over into the perspective view here and just pick out one of the trackers at the base of the pole and you can see over in the top view there it is. So let's go and create a cylinder to sit right at that spot. So 
So now it's a little luck. We've got that cylinder sitting right in front of that pole and the flag throughout the shot. Now it looks like we don't quite have that yet. There's a little stuff up there and it's not quite tall enough. So let's go back and work on that a little bit more. Definitely needs to be a bit taller. I was trying to just pick that up a little bit there. We'll just make it a bit bigger overall. And again, we'll drop down the number of different facets that are involved. So now we've got that set up. And let's flip over to the texture extraction panel. And the key thing that we're going to tell Synthize is that we want that mesh that we just set up for the cylinder to block the texture calculation for the wall in the back. So with that set up, we can go and rerun the extraction. So here's our stuff up there and a little bit it'll come through. And I'll point out we're doing this here with the mesh because the pole is standing still and it's easy. But we can also use the roto panel in Synthize to do this to create a little animated moving mat if the there was a person moving something like that. So here you just saw we got the updated image there and that pole has been removed and now we have that texture for the back wall. So that's a pretty neat and important capability that the Synthize Texture Extraction gives you. So now you know you can go and bust that wall or do whatever you want, have cars drive out through the hole in the wall, whatever. And the succeeding two parts of this tutorial will show how to do this same sort of thing with a little roto mat, and we'll also look at some slightly more complicated geometry. Thanks a lot.